guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing a video about how you properly apply your foundation to your skin i'll be using the foundation faces by shauna the first thing that you want to do is to apply the foundation to your foundation brush and then apply the foundation on your face evenly ensure that you don't use too much makeup on the foundation brush and ensure that you get all the areas on your face correctly by doing your cheeks, nose, forehead and your chin and under your chin. Ensure that when you're purchasing makeup, you test the makeup on your face and not on your hands as your hands will have a different skin tone from your face. After applying the foundation, I'm going to get my buffing brush and I'm going to buff the foundation into my skin. Do not wipe your face with the brush. Do not wipe the foundation. The aim is for your makeup to look smooth and skin-like. And by doing this, it will allow for the makeup to evenly be distributed on your skin and give that skin-like finish. So as you see there, I'm buffing in the foundation into my skin and it's giving it a different look. Before it looked like I had wiped liquid on my face and now as I'm buffing in the makeup, it looks more like a skin finished look. And you're going to continue to do this until the entire makeup is buffed in. Try not to forget those areas where your nose creasing is and ensure that you buff in under your chin. Those areas tend to be not blended out as properly as it should so ensure that you buff and blend in those areas. I'm going to be adding a second coat of makeup by using my MAC foundation. You don't necessarily have to add a second coat in a foundation, but because of the video that I'm doing and I want the foundation to look flawless and I want all my blemishes and spots to be hidden, I'm adding a second coat of foundation to my skin and it's okay to blend the foundations as long as both foundations match your skin tone you'll have a skin like finish and you look flawless You're going to repeat the same process and apply the foundation to your face evenly and smoothly and then I'm going to repeat the same buffing step where I buff the makeup into my skin. And when applying your makeup guys you need to be gentle. The harsher you are is the harsher the makeup is going to look. If you take your time and apply the foundation, then you will get the results that you need. Okay. 
don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video it might help out a friend who has always wanted to know how to blend their foundation evenly and properly And if you take a really good look at the video, as I'm buffing in the foundation, you can see that the spots and blemishes are hidden and the foundation on my skin almost looks like a smooth skin finish. Another thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that once you do your makeup, your foundation, your eyeshadows and everything, allow the makeup to set into your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get the actual look that you desire from applying all the makeup. So the makeup will not look exactly how you want it at the end of applying everything but after letting it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. However the makeup looks, that's what it's supposed to look like. Alright guys. This is an additional part of the video. I am applying concealer under my eyes. And I'm going to show you how to blend it perfectly into your skin. When applying a concealer, ensure to use a shade. One shade lighter than your regular skin tone. One or two shades lighter. I'm applying concealers under my eyes to get a glow, an inner face glow. It's not necessarily because I have dark circles, because I don't have dark circles under my eyes. So after applying the concealer, you're going to get a blending brush and you're going to blend evenly. You're going to blend from outwards, inwards, and you're going to blend the foundation into your skin. I'm gonna do that for both sides like share comment and subscribe you can tell me what you liked about this video and what you didn't like about this video After blending in the concealer, I'm going to buff in the concealer by using a different buffing brush. And if you look closely, you can see that there is a different glow underneath my eyes, separate and apart from the rest of my face. So this is the final look. I was actually doing a hair haul. Um, stay tuned for another video that shows how you apply your eyeshadows and how you contour your face. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. Tell me what you liked about this video and what you didn't like and what you'd like to see in my other videos. Bye.